here in the Czech Games booth, and we're talking to Vlada Švadl, and we're going to find out about his new game, Dungeon Pets. How are you doing this morning, Vlada? Hello. Uh, uh, I'm okay. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so, Dungeon Pets, uh, it's, game, uh, it's a game from the same universe as Dungeon Lords. It is not mm -hmm. a sequel or expansion or something like this. Okay. It uh, just uh, shares the graphics and kind of light-hearted uh, atmosphere or theme. Uh, okay. Not, not, not very serious, uh, but I, I would say even less serious <laughs> than Dungeon, Dungeon Excellent. Lords. Excellent. Uh, it, uh, it is lighter, uh, a bit lighter, but still gamer's game, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, it is about uh, these small imps that was cute in the first Dungeon Abs Lords. Absolutely. And uh, now they started uh, their own business and they are, <laughs> they said, okay, we will uh, start a pet shop. We will uh, uh, raise pets for Dungeon Lords. Yeah? Okay. So there are some fantasy creatures, small first, and they are growing during, during the game and they have some needs and they want to eat and then want to be entertained and they can be sick and so on. And <laughs> You can have several of them, and the point is that uh, they behave. Uh, each of these have, uh, has some uh, preferences or uh, some probabilities how they how they will behave. Okay. Uh, you can buy a small uh, a small cube and uh, raise them to a higher size. Yeah. And the bigger pet, the more needs he has. Uh, it, or it has. Yeah. And that's that's it. Uh, you are you have to take only that much as much you, you can handle. Okay. And you are trying then to sell them to dungeon lords. And each dungeon, <laughs> dungeon lord has his own preferences. There is some a real uh, horny dungeon lord that needs something aggressive and magic. Yeah. Uh -huh. And there is some old lady that wants something to take care of. That it has to be. Uh, to eat a lot and maybe to be a, a, bit, a little sick, yeah? <laughs> and so on, and yeah. a little dungeon girl that wants playful and nice animal and so on, yeah, that's different preferences, there are some competitions or exhibitions, yeah, okay. uh, like children, when, when Children's Day, then, uh, day when you invite uh, f families to your exhibition, <laughs> yeah, and, and so on, and, and, uh, or arena where you send your pets there to fight. Cool. And you are gaining basically a reputation for this, how uh, big, how good you are at these exhibitions or, or contests, and how uh, well you meet uh, uh, preferences of your customers. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Well, that sounds fun. Now, should you go ahead and set up and play a game of Dungeon Pets for how long? About how long does it take to play it? Uh, I believe uh, like 90 minutes. So you play 90 minutes of Dungeon Pets so you can make all the little monsters and then you set up a game of Dungeon Lords after that. <laughs> Sorry? Should you play Dungeon Pets and then Dungeon Lords back uh, to back? Just Would that be a fun night? Of course you can, but uh, it is really <laughs> doesn't matter because uh, there are no heroes in right, Dungeon Pets. Exactly. It is, it is the, like, let's say it is the uh, opposite side of this, yeah? <laughs> exactly. Uh, now, another question I've always had for you is about your game rules. It seems like you have a lot of fun writing your game rules. You know, a lot of people just put in the rules. Here's what you need to do to learn how to play the game. You have a lot of extra fun stuff in your rules that are a pleasure to read. It is, it is, uh, the point is that uh, when I am uh, developing a game, mm -hmm. I am demoing and test, play testing in lots, uh, lots of time. And I have to explain the game. Right. And when I'm explaining, uh, my games are on the rather more complex part of, right. the, of the scale, yeah? <laughs> uh -huh. And it, it takes some time and I want the people to have fun. So uh, during the explaining I'm uh, Im improving, it and adding some jokes and so on and uh, also organizing the order how the stuff has to be explained and I don't need to tell this now and so on. And that's why I am, uh, why I am writing the rules as the absolutely last thing. Uh, uh, because I want all this experience to be reflected here, yeah? Excellent. So the, the rules are basically how I explained the game uh, how, uh, during how you, the okay. playtesting, yeah? And I have very great translator, yeah? Ah. That's very, very important. He's uh, Jason, lives in uh, uh, USA, uh -huh. and uh, he is... He is very, he is very good at writing and has good sense of humor. So if I uh, write some uh, bad joke, he mercilessly delete it, <laughs> or, fix it. Im or improve it, improve it. Yeah, right. So it works good, I believe. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so do you have any new titles that you're working on that you can kind of tell us about? Uh, this never, never sure at this moment. Yeah? Okay. I have several, several. Uh, I, I, 
last year I would I would not say uh, what, not, not tell that uh, Dungeon Pets will that, be here. Right. Yeah. So uh, I was not sure. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, well, we're certain we're we're looking forward to whatever you come up with next because so far we've loved all of your titles. We we certainly hope nice that you keep on coming up with some th great stuff. Thank you. So Vlada, thank you very much for your time today. Look forward to talking to you next year. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Nice to meet you.